Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we are diving into three pivotal protocols that power digital security, OAuth 2.0, OpenID Connect and SAML 2.0. These terms can sound daunting, but don't worry, I will break them down in a simple and engaging way. Whether you are a tech enthusiast or just curious about how secure logins work, this video is for you. Let's get started. Let's start with two key terms that often gets mixed up, authentication and authorization. Authentication is all about proving your identity. It's like showing your ID to a bouncer at a club. You're verifying that you're who you say you are. Authorization, on the other hand, decides what you're allowed to do. Think of it as getting access to the VIP launch after proving your identity. And this difference is critical because each protocol we'll discuss today handles these aspects in its own way. So here is a fun analogy. Authentication is like proving your bad pen, uh, but authorization is deciding if you get access to the bad gif. Now let's travel back in time and see how these protocols came to be. OAuth 2.0 was introduced in 2012. OAuth 2.0 was primarily designed to simplify secure access delegation. It allows applications to access resources on your behalf without needing your password. So an example will be like giving a third party app access to your Google Drive to upload files without sharing your Google credentials. OpenID Connect uh, was built on OAuth 2.0. So um, it, it was released in 2014 and it was uh, primarily created to fill a gap because OAuth 2.0 didn't handle user authentication. So it's the back on, backbone of social login features like using your Google or Facebook account to sign into a new app. SAML 2.0 is the oldest of the three. It was released in 2005 and SAML was developed for enterprise grade single sign-on. It's widely used in corporate environments where employees log in once to access multiple applications like HR systems, mail, file storage, uh, login into ERP and CRM solutions and so on. So a fun fact is uh, that SAML is like your grandparents rotary phone. It is still works, but it's a bit clunky by today's standards. Each protocol has found its niche. OAuth 2.0 was widely adopted by customer facing applications and APIs. Think Google Drive, GitHub or Slack integrations. It's ideal for scenarios where applications need to act on your behalf, like scheduling a meeting on your calendar. OpenID Connect uh, or OIDC as it's called is perfect for social logins and modern cloud services. So if you have clicked like login with Google or login with Facebook uh, for any uh, application, right? That means you have used OpenID Connect. SAML 2.0, it dominates the enterprise SSO scenarios because it's more suited for uh, web logins. So for example, an employee at a company might use one set of credentials to access HR tool, internal dashboards and email services uh, seamlessly. Let's break it down further by looking at the core problems these protocols solve. So OAuth 2.0 is designed for uh, secure access delegation. It lets applications request limited access to your data, like letting a fitness app fetch your health data from a wearable device. OIDC is built for uh, identity verification and basic user profile sharing. It ensures the application knows who you are not just that someone with access is using the applications. SAML 2.0 on the other hand, it, it, it's more suited for enterprise SSO needs, allowing users to log in once and access multiple uh, systems securely. So here's a fun analogy. OAuth says, can I borrow your keys? OIDC adds, okay, but first let me see your ID. SAML just chimes in and says, I know your debt, let me in. So let's uh, have a quick look at the differences that they have. 
So the purpose of OAuth 2.0 primarily is authorization. OpenID Connect and SAML 2.0 both they support authentication as well as authorization. Uh, the data format that is used for 2.0 and OpenID Connect is the JSON, which is uh, more modern than what SAML 2.0 uses, that is uh, XML. So tokens that are used uh, by each of the protocol, uh, OAuth 2.0 uses access token, OpenID Connect uses access plus ID token, and SAML 2.0 uses the assertions. Like I mentioned earlier, OAuth 2.0 does not support SSO, while OpenID Connect and SAML 2.0, both of these protocols support uh, SSO. And again, primary use case for OAuth 2.0 is API access, but OpenID Connect is more suited for web and uh, mobile applications, mobile SSOs. SAML 2.0, on the other hand, is more suited for enterprise SSOs. So here's the fun take. JSON is the cool kid in town, so fast, modern, and versatile. XML, on the other hand, is like the elder professor, verbose and formal, but reliable. Here is a guide for choosing the right protocol based on your needs. OR 2.0 is the, you should consider using it for API access. For example, if a third party app wants to upload files to your Google Drive, OAuth ensures it gets the right permissions without needing your password. OIDC, you should use it for authentication and modern social logins. A great fit for web and mobile applications. So think logging into Instagram using your Facebook account. Thermal 2.0 is, um, it's a bit old, but it's perfect for enterprise SSO in environments which have legacy as well as modern systems. So for an example, an employee logging into multiple corporate apps with one set of credentials. So a quick summary will be OAuth is for APIs. OIDC is for authentication and authorization, both. Uh, so you can say it's for like selfies and thermal is for uh, board meetings. So each protocol has a specific purpose and shines its, uh, in its own way. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video helped you understand the difference between OAuth 2.0, OpenID Connect, and SAML 2.0. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more tech insights. Got questions or want me to cover a specific topic, please drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, stay secure.